What's up guys, Thaddeus here. Welcome to the channel, if you're new, it's a little quiet, it's four in the morning right now, and um, everyone else that's here at the, at the crazy is asleep, but um, as an update, it is a bit of a switch of scenery for you guys. I booked a last minute ticket to LA. As you can see, a last minute ticket is freaking $600 round trip from Seattle, but that's besides the point guys. In this video, I wanna talk about why a lot of you guys just aren't seeing the results you want with drop shipping, or you just aren't seeing results at all right and so there's three there's three main reasons that i want to talk about um in this particular video just why you aren't getting any type of results so there's three main reasons why a lot of you guys just aren't seeing results with drop shipping okay and number one is content number two is your website material number three is your marketing okay all of these are extremely extremely important in like the whole funnel of everything okay guys but I'm gonna go through each one kind of, um, just kind of talk about which ones, what you might be lacking. Um, you might be lacking all of them, some of them, um, and how each one of them kind of plays into the other, okay? So one is content, guys. I think a reason a lot of my dropshipping sites did really well is because I had unique content, right? I took product photography. Like, I took images of my, of my products I was selling in my store, like by myself or with other photographers that I knew personally. I had them take pictures of it, okay? Um, and that was one of the reasons we just had like unique content, right? Because that positions your brand more authoritatively. It puts you in like, it, it, it gives you your brand image that, you know, unique, genuine, different type of vibe than all these other dropshippers, right? Who are just using these AliExpress images, using these white background images all over their site, all over the social media. It's ugly, it's nasty, it doesn't convert as well. Um, and that's that, right? So content plays a key role and it plays into everything, right? It plays into a website, plays into your marketing, just plays into everything and overall flow, right? And just with like my funnel and the cycle and just how I kind of do everything, I go from Instagram, right? I start with Instagram, then I go into Facebook ads later down the road. But with Instagram ads, right? With Instagram being such a visual platform, you need content, you need good quality content, okay? So that, that's where that's where you actually need to actually take the time, take the effort, and invest in, you know, good product photography for your products that you're selling, right? It doesn't need to be every single product on your site. It could be the ones that you're mainly pushing, the ones that you're mainly marketing, right? And then again, that might be another reason why, you know, you're not making the sales you want or getting the results you want is because your marketing could be whack, okay? I mean, that's, that's what we're talking about in a second, but content is super, super key, guys. You, you use content in everything, okay? You use content in the Instagram funnel that I talk about, um, just in my videos on the Ecom Hub, just everywhere. Um, you use content on your website, you use content in your marketing material, you use content in your email, you use content in your Facebook ad copy, you use content literally everywhere, okay? If you're stuck using the same pictures that everyone else is using that's selling your product, you're not gonna differentiate yourself. You literally can't differentiate yourself, okay? So that, that's one key factor, just hey, you need good quality content, okay? And there's a lot of sites that I'll link down below as well like you can use to help get content or to help generate content, um, stuff like that if you just aren't really sure where to go. But then again, guys, you can literally grab a photo or grab a camera, take a photo, work with some photographers in your area, local photographers, anything like that, um, and get some content, like get quality content up on your social media, for your store, on your website, for your store, um, with your paid ads, with all that kind of stuff, because uh, content is, is, is essential, right? And number two, well, the reason why you guys might not be getting the sales you want is your website okay your website could just be terrible and that's again it's just it's you know what what are you using to design your website how is your website designed is it aesthetically pleasing is there way too much text that just overloads the customer they dip right after they visit your site you increase your bounce rate you don't actually get them to convert you don't even get any data from them right? you don't get their email you don't collect anything from them um, because the second they hit your site they just lost interest or they lost trust or it just wasn't appealing enough to them that whatever curiosity they had to actually visit your site in the first place just dissipated and is gone Okay, so a lot of ways you can go about like fixing that again. There's these apps that I always talk about. There's like the FOMO app, which you know instills more customer trust because it shows you all the all these apps that everyone's purchasing or all the products that everyone's purchasing like from from the app. Okay, there's Privy, the email collection app that you can use to actually collect data from these people that hit your website so that they don't actually just leave and they don't leave forever, right? And again, your Facebook Pixel guys, that's how you retarget later down the road. That's how you do more back end stuff um, once you actually take the initial hard work of actually driving the original traffic to your website. Um, you know the Facebook app, the Privy app to you know do email marketing and all this other stuff plays in down the road to later convert, right? And if if, if you guys have you know that proper funnel set in place, then you know down the road becomes now. If you think about it, right? If you're sending traffic continuously for 30 days, after 30 days, if you have you know an email funnel built in where you start retargeting people and you start hitting them up after a week, two weeks, and stuff like that, then you'll start getting that traffic that you just sent prior back to your site like now 
pay up that does that make sense so then now you have this continual influx of new traffic coming to your site you also have old traffic coming to your site and it's all kind of playing in um to the funnel to help, help you guys convert right and that's just like driving more traffic because theoretically the more traffic you have to your website the more sales you should be able to get all right that's not always the case because you could have a website but that's that's a whole nother thing guys and so there's a bunch of you know different ways you can go about doing that guys there is you know dropship to go which is a company that actually makes complete websites for you guys it literally makes the websites that i use that my partners use that we use that just convert right it's just like a super clean cut through 100% completely done for you website design company and they charge a lot less just because they only design dropship websites right they don't they don't design you know social media marketing agency websites they don't design um, you know those like specific brand websites they don't design agency websites it's just dropship websites that's it and they're good at it so that's all they do they don't have to charge too much that's the link in description as well guys you can check it out they do like free consultation calls too so like I don't see why you wouldn't check it out definitely check that one out guys reason number three where you aren't getting results with your dropshipping store can be down to marketing okay marketing kind of ties everything into place L like literally everything okay so marketing is responsible for driving you know traffic to your site it's responsible for gaining curiosity out of customers evoking some form of emotion out of them um, you know getting that exposure to your site you know bringing eyeballs to your site bringing eyeballs to your you know your instagram page right that's where your content comes into play that's where your website comes into play if you're doing if you're driving traffic to your website and stuff like that um marketing is kind of like the, the the envelope right it just wraps everything together <clears throat> and if your marketing is off everything kind of just doesn't work because you don't have traffic going anywhere you don't have eyeballs seeing anything you can't really test anything you don't know if something's working or not there's lots of things that you just don't know if your marketing is not good, if you just don't have a steady influx of traffic or a stream of anything like you know coming to coming to your site, which is which is, which is not good, guys. And so again, my marketing funnel goes from the Instagram to paid ads. That's the very very short short term funnel. But when we go more in depth, right? We go, hey, we work with influencers on Instagram. We get them. We get some form of traffic from those influencers. We bring them to our Instagram business page. Right, that's 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 your, your profile page for your dropshipping store okay if your content's good guys that means in your influencer shout out the image you're using is you know a unique photo that you took yourself that's good it piques curiosity in the customer it gets them to look at the caption the caption drives them to the Instagram business page from there it's supposed to drive them to your website right if, if the content is also good on your Instagram page right that's why again content is so key if it's good they'll click through to the website because you've already piqued their curiosity by having them visit your Instagram page and you just have to finalize that and get them to click through to your website okay and then that's where your website comes in where it's like hey is your website doing a good job of converting this this traffic that's coming to your site okay and then marketing is that overall envelope of just what are you doing okay like what are you doing for your influencer shout outs you know, are you sourcing good influencers are you working with good influencers? are you negotiating well so that you can actually lower your you know your cost of goods and your margins and increase your margins while lowering your cost of goods um, you know how, how are you driving this traffic is your content good right is, is it peaking that curiosity to actually get them to look at the shout out is a shout out ad copy good like do you have call to actions in there like two call to actions in there um, you know short description of your product how are you branding your brand is there any like cross conflict right if, if you're branding your brand as luxury you can't be offering 50% off dis discount coupons like you can't because then it's not a luxury brand right and that immediately will throw people off if, if they're not um, like already aware of if they've seen your stuff around and they're still kind of thinking because again guys it usually takes more than one impression to get someone to purchase from you and if all these different impressions are different vibes of your brand they're gonna throw off and they're, they're never gonna buy from you right if, if you're hitting them with one ad that says hey we're the most luxury brand on Instagram okay for example right, you kind of give off that impression um, but then you hit them with another ad that says hey you can take 80% off your first order here you immediately throw them off and it's like well, what? Right? It, 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 they lose trust. It, it, it doesn't make you look authentic. You, you want you don't look luxury. That's how you're branding yourself. It's just it's a whole bunch of different things that come into play with that, guys. And so those are the three main, I guess, reasons. It's like one, content needs to be on point. Okay, content needs to be on point for you know, like my Instagram account. Boop. Right, content is key, guys, and that, that's what drives a lot of traffic. That's what gets people interested in you, in your brand, in your company, in your products, anything like that. Number two is your website, guys. Okay, are the apps you're using um, helping convert, helping collect data, allowing you to retarget down the road to bring in old traffic while you're also taking in new traffic? Um, is your marketing good, right? Um, there's a lot of these things that just come into play that when you have all of them kind of set together, it turns out into a really, you know, well fleshed out product that that you know that that helps you convert okay if you guys don't really know 
um, you know, kind of where to start, what to do for any of these three kind of processes, guys. One, for the marketing side of things, there is Double Tap, okay? That literally is kind of like a VA for your Instagram. If you guys aren't really sure on how to use Instagram, how to contact influencers, how to source influencers, how to reach out to influencers, how to schedule posts, um, how to like grow your account and your engagement, there's Double Tap, guys. The link is in the description down below. Um, it's literally just an Instagram virtual assistant for your dropshipping store. And then for your website, guys, if you don't know what to do, if you don't like have any sort of experience with Shopify or just website design or just creating you know, an aesthetic site, especially if you're working with the funnel that I talk about, guys, with Instagram, right? Because Instagram's a, an extremely visual platform. It's just pictures. You need to have that continuity go onto your website, right? So if, you're, if, you're, if your website's just all text and not that aesthetic, when they go from Instagram to your website, they're gonna, they're gonna leave, they're gonna bounce, and they're not gonna convert, they're not gonna buy anything from your site, okay? So if you guys don't really know what to do in that website thing, Dropship to Go is in the stream, is in the link down below, guys. They do free calls, so literally, I don't, like, schedule a call, okay? You can even ask questions, um, and you know, hope, hope to, er, bleh, bleh, bleh. you can even schedule a call, guys, ask questions and figure out what's wrong with your site, what you need to do, um, you know, maybe you need a makeover, maybe you just need a whole new site in general because um, you don't know what to do, or you don't know the apps you need to install, or maybe you just like don't know how to actually increase exposure to your website, get more traffic, and whatever, to your website. Maybe you should use affiliates. There's a bunch of different stuff that can go into play um, with your website and the back end kind of things for your website. Like how are you collecting emails, or using MailChimp, Aweber, or using Privy. There's a bunch of different stuff, guys. So um, that's something to keep in mind. And just like all this stuff is very important in, in the process that I teach, okay, and that I preach and everything like that. So. That's the thing, guys. If you do need help getting your own content, there's also links for that down below. Um, that's the video, guys. I, I, I'm, I know I'm kind of quiet, but it's five. It's literally five in the morning here. Everyone else is asleep. And um, leave a like, guys. Leave a comment. I will respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related, from the mastery course to free PDFs and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool.